lovelies, the words cannot describe how excited I am to show you this video. First of all, let me just start by saying Fashion Month is a time of the year when I get overly excited, inspired and surrounded by all these beautiful pieces that I end up basically shopping most of it. I don't know, I, I don't even know when I bought these things because to be very honest, my schedule was 8am till like 11 p.m. most of the time I basically was just always passing by a shop and buying these things or these things were just arriving to my hotel randomly so I wanted to show you what I, like I wanted to show you all the kind of like luxury and nicer not they're not all necessarily extremely expensive but they are all of great quality uh, pieces that I bought throughout fashion month yeah so I've got them all here next to me and I'm gonna start in the order that they were appearing in my wardrobe. I'll start from the airport. Well, I guess that explains a lot. As you guys know, I was unlucky enough. I don't even know if I showed you this already. I think I have. I was unlucky enough to lose my YSL uh, card holder and I decided to replace it with a new one, also light pink by Dior and actually I love it to the moon and back, so I'm not really that unlucky to have lost the other one, right? Because I've got a new one now, and this card holder is very, very, very beautiful. It's very clean considering how much I used it. It has this Dior logo at the front. I think I've shown it to you before, but I got it to the airport because I was like, okay, I haven't got anything to keep my cards in, and it was love at first sight. So, love this. While I was in uh, South France in August, I uh, met up with a friend and she was wearing one of these kind of split Dior split glasses, just in a different color. And I was telling them her how much I love them, but I thought that they just don't suit me. And she was like, no, they suit you, you need to get them. So while I was in the airport, I also looked at these and I was like, oh, I'm saving a lot of money on them. So I decided to buy them and I absolutely love them. They're one of my favorite sunglasses I own right now and I think they're so cool so mine are in like gold silver and gold color also this month I was fortunate enough just to finish off the Dior but clearly I'm having a bit of a Dior craze lately right but to finish with that I wanted to show you the new Dior earrings that I've got and these are these like tribal earrings uh, that have like a smaller pearl in front and a bigger pearl at the back you can wear just one which is how I like to wear them or you can wear both which is also how I like to wear them um, so this is what they look like I think they're absolute princess earrings and these are very special because they have like a flower at the back so they look like flowers not just pearls I think they're really pretty very feminine they go really really well with most of the stuff that I wear I love them with the hair up hair down I think they're so 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 stunning and perfect example of what Dior is about so um, yeah, I got these uh, very early on at the beginning of the fashion month. Since I started with these like smaller accessories, I also wanted to show you another pair of sunglasses that I haven't shown you yet. And these are by Gucci. I got these in London while I, when I already arrived to London. So they are like very simple, very dark black Gucci glasses. And I think these are so freaking cool. They always make me feel much cooler than I am because Let's face it, I'm not really that cool of a person. I mean, I like fashion and all of that, but I never wear black. I'm not like someone super tough. Um, yeah, you know what I mean, right? But these glasses kind of make me look fierce or blind, which is not so great, but um, it does happen. Doesn't matter. Anyway, I love them, love them, obsessed. I like the, the flat top and I just think they're so cool and they're definitely like sunproof, like crazy sunproof. So yeah, really, really like them. I also got the Chloe uh, sunglasses, you've already seen those in uh, monthly favorites video, just like the Cassidy shoes and the Chloe boots, so I won't be showing you this Balmoran sweater and GM dress again, because I clearly got those um, during the fashion month, but obviously I'm not going to show them again because that would be so repetitive and boring. So I'll go back to the New York. One random day after Rebecca Mingo show, I couldn't get a taxi, so I was walking along Broadway because she was showing in that part of town. And um, I saw this sweater in Club Monaco's window and you guys know how much I love Club Monaco and how much that's where I basically shop when I'm in like LA or New York. For some reason, I just love, love the shop. And then I saw this sweater that I died for 
almost. It has these like frills on the sleeve. I wore it during Paris Fashion Week, so you might have seen it already on Instagram. It's so soft, it's so beautiful, it's so warm, it's cozy, and it's not getting any of those like stupid balls, you know, that like cashmere sometimes gets, which is annoying. And which is why I love this sweater because it just seems like it's gonna last me forever. I love the color, I love the sleeves. And I just think it was worth it. It wasn't even that expensive considering how Club Monaco can be. It was like 200 and something dollars. And um, I've already worn it so many times. And yeah, basically this sweater is one of my favorite things that I got throughout the whole month. Also at the very beginning of the month I was browsing the Outland website. And I was checking out Balmain section. And that is when I saw... This pile is real, guys. <laughs> and that's when I saw this leather jacket over here. It's kind of evening-ish, I would say, so I wore it with like dresses and skirts and um, night outfits. So I really really loved this jacket because um, it's kind of like beige leather. I don't have anything in beige leather and I think it's fun. It's very well fitted. I mean, yeah, can you can you see the like the vibe? It's kind of like slouchy but cool. The shoulders are cool. I love it. And obviously it was heavily discounted because I got it on the outlet. So make sure to check out their um, designer sections. I will leave some links below as always for you to check it out. Also while in New York I made a little Louboutin order um, and these babies arrived promptly when I landed and I'm talking about, I don't know what's their name, but these ankle boots, these are like studded black ankle boots and I wore them so much throughout the month that I completely scraped off the red bottoms, which doesn't bother me, I know some people get so bothered about it, but I just love them, they're so comfortable, I wore them a lot, I wore them the other night for dinner as well, even though I had to like go to London, from Brighton to London in them and back and I really 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 love them i think they're just so beautiful i'll try and insert the picture of how i wore them i wore them thereafter in like milan paris london all the time and they're extremely comfortable if you guys think that louboutins are uncomfortable i think you just haven't tried the right pair for your foot so these were great i love philippine by the way and while i'm in us i always go there i like to find a schooler and wang stores because obviously they're much cheaper in the states and i actually got this dress which i don't even plan to wear like a dress but as a layering piece so i'm um, over a shirt and with jeans or something like that it has a frill at the bottom and i think it's a very cool dress i think like if i wear it alone it could end up looking a bit too grown up and i'm not ready for that kind of commitment just yet so um yeah i just want to wear it as a layering piece and I really really like it. While still at Philip Lim I got a sweater that I wanted for the longest time ever. This is the knit. It's white. It's almost like a poncho. It's open a little bit on the side with these like hangy bits and the sleeves are really big. They're like a bell sleeve and it's very cozy, very big, very cute for transitional autumn period. It was 30 degrees when I bought this so you can understand the commitment was huge. I love it. Okay I think that is all from New York. And now I'm going to talk to you about London. As you know, I kind of briefly mentioned that I went to this little black gold store on Conduit Street in London. That is where I got the most worn jacket of month September and October so far. And it is this black shirling jacket from Diesel Black Gold. I love this so much. This is so warm for traveling. I traveled in this to Milan. I traveled in this all the time. I'm wearing it constantly. It is like this beautiful black shirling um, jacket it's short it's cool i don't actually wear black a lot but this is the only thing that i would wear in black and i love it so much like honestly like i sleep in this on the plane and i feel like i'm in duvet in my home bed that's how soft and great it is i love it while i was in diesel black gold store i also got this skirt and this is like a leather skirt these are actually its sides so the, the like back is a bit longer than the front. So it's like a black leather skirt with, which has like these like detailing on the side. Puffer jacket at the bottom and it's really cool. I wore this with ankle boots it's with the with the shirling and the white top and it looked very nice. Also in London for Versus by Versace show I wore the most insane outfit. This dress that a lot of you could see on my Insta stories. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram you have to change that now. My uh, user handle is Tamara so very easy very easy to find me. I showed you when I was trying this on and you guys said that I have to wear this so it's kind of like open back with this detailing and it's open front and it's like a waistcoat but also a dress 
and I love it. I think it's amazing. While I was in Milan, I didn't really shop much, but I did get a few pairs of shoes. And the first shoes that I got were, I think these Jimmy shoes. I don't actually know the accurate name for the model, like of the shoe, but I'll insert some pictures as well of how I wore them. I really like them. I think they're so cool. Uh, they also come in a different color, like a mustardy color and the olive green. I really like olive green for autumn. And I know this is a sandal, right? It's not exactly a boot, but I thought that these will go well with like boyfriend jeans and things like that because um, they are kind of like transitional. Another thing is they're extremely comfortable. I wore them a lot and I walked in them a lot and they proved to be very very comfortable. Another pair of boots that I actually showed you on my insta stories and these are this is like also Milan. These are by Casaday. They're like over the knee sock boots made by suede with a blade heel. So the blade heel is the heel that they were developing for six months. I hope I got this right because Ariana said it to me like 20 times. So I better got it right. So this heel is, as you can see, kind of bent. It's extremely feminine. It's a blade heel. I cannot even express to you how sexy I think these shoes are. When I wore these, and I don't really wear like sexy clothes. I'm not someone who's like wearing really sexy clothes. I'm quite kind of like men repelling and nerdy and yeah, you know. Um, anyway, so these boots, when I wore them, I felt amazing. I wore them with like a little black dress and over the knee boots and I felt Years. So I really like them because they gave me such a like such an amazing feeling and they made me feel more confident which is what clothes is supposed to do. It's supposed to give you like these kind of like metamorphosis um, emotions. So I really love them and I think they're amazing. Like Cassidy is really making amazing great quality shoes so obviously you can't blame me for loving these so much. That's it for Milan, let's go to Paris. In Paris I usually make the most damage because Paris is Paris and I mean who doesn't love to shop in Paris? So what I did is I went to Sandro and Marge which are my like two favorite stores and I shopped a lot in Sandro because I ended up making friends with all of the girls there. So on Rue Saint Honoré like girls have so much fun and they helped me find the pieces that I was looking for. So the first thing that I fell in love with is this right way yes it is yes was this skirt and it's like a black high-waisted skirt with an open slit and the lace at the bottom and I needed this for like um fun night out so this is the first thing that I bought it is like obviously like nice made well made item that I really enjoyed wearing. Where with that, I also got a top. Well, I also got this top first of all, which is by the way by Sandro and it's stunning. Look at the back, it's completely covered in lace. So I got this top and then I got another top. They're clearly doing a lot of stuff with lace. And this is like a black top with lace panels. Can you see that? Also has like this like delicate lace on the sleeves and it's just got a little button at the back here which is what I love. I think it's super cute, adorable piece. And even though I don't wear much black, this is kind of like evening wear, so it doesn't count, right? And the last item that I want to show you is also the most exciting thing of this whole haul. And it comes in this dust bag, as you can see. So I was, I really wanted this bag for a while now. Obviously it's a bag, you guys got that much. Um, but I wasn't sure and I had this particular color in my mind. So I didn't really have time to go to the salon in store and on the day that I did have that two hours free um, it was Sunday and Celine's store was closed and then it was far away and then yeah there wasn't one in Rue Saint Honoré which is where I was staying so that was kind of annoying and then I went to I went to Prada to look for a different bag and they didn't have it they were like literally laughing at my face telling me it's so sold out so then I went to Louis Vuitton and I looked at a few bags that I really liked but I didn't have much time so I didn't want to make an impulse decision and I was like no 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 not buying anything but then went back to shows then on the very last day like literally three hours before I left I was having lunch at Loving You and Celine's store is like two minutes away so I was like let me just pop into the Celine store I'm probably not gonna buy anything I went in I looked at these bags didn't like any of the colors and then this guy comes up to me and he's like madam can I show you anything and I'm like well what I'm looking for you don't really have and he was like what do you want and I was like this bag in this color eventually basically he had it and I was like I'm buying it he was like don't you want to try it I was like no I'm buying it he was like, but you know, want to have a look inside? I was like, no, I'm buying this bag. This is the bag that I want. This is what I'm buying. So that's how decisive I am. I love it. And now I'm going to finally reveal it to you. And I hope you're going to... Well, if I can open it, that would be nice, right? But I'm not sure. I think my bag is trapped. No, there we go. 
I am talking about the belt bag and it is in this kind of like top color um, I really like belt bag it fits my laptop inside so another girl that I know Michelle from Take Aim she has this bag in smooth finish kind of like a caramel color I was like does it fit your laptop she was like yes I was like oh I'm buying it because um, I really need a bag that fits my laptop since the Gucci bag got stolen from me That was my kind of like a laptop bag But anyway, this bag is amazing and I love it so so much for autumn. It's gonna be so perfect It kind of opens it's like a revised better version of the trapeze bag because you can actually open it with one hand Which is a big deal for me um, It has a zip here and then it's like all suede inside which makes it even better It has a back pocket here and and it's in this pretty color so I either close it like this or I just zip close the zip when I like when I'm done with whatever I need it inside I close the zip and then I leave it like this so basically that's how I wear it it has a shoulder strap which makes everything much better and it has the four feet which is perfect because then your bag doesn't get dirty when you put it on the floor. I'm obsessed with it and I'm so happy that I could find this because I love this bag so much. So let me know what you think about Celine belt bag and if you like the color that I went for. And that was the most exciting um, reveal of this video. I hope you liked it. It was like five or six weeks that I spent all this money. I didn't just go in the store and just bought everything. So yeah, I was basically buying in different cities in different countries and just things that i thought would make sense for me to buy there because they would be cheaper or because of whatever reason that i was trying to justify it in my head um but anyway i hope you really like this video and let me know what was your favorite item from this haul and then i'll see you soon thanks for watching bye